So this plant that looks like it has ivy-shaped leaves is called Gerardanthus macrorhizus, and macrorhizus essentially means large root, and it might actually be referring to the fact that it has this swollen base and this swollen stem right here, um, which is called a caudex. And now this plant has been in my collection for about four years, and this is one of the plants that actually goes um, deciduous, so it actually loses its leaves. And I'm showing this right before the winter months, which I'm, again, really shocked by because a lot of my caudiciforms typically lose their leaves by this time, and therefore I wouldn't have been able to show them to you in 365 days of plants because they don't look that great. But this one just started to put out some new leaves. I had this vining and twining all over the place during the summer months, and sometimes I have to cut it back because it tends to wrap its, uh, itself around some of my other plants, and it's hard for me to remove some of my other plants from the shelf and to, um, and to water them. So this does take to a really good cutting back, like you could cut back and then it'll start to shoot out another green vine. You could probably see that I've cut it back a, a few different ways here, and it always puts out a new green vine. Um, so this is part of the cucumber family, and, uh, and I've been really getting into vining cucumbers, and, um, and this is just one of the, the many vining cucumbers that I actually have, and you can just see a close-up on the leaf here. And it doesn't look like it's vining, but as this starts to increase in length, it will start to twine and twirl around anything that it could get its little uh, stems and leaves onto. So this plant is actually native more to Swaziland, the Cape Provinces, so in South Africa and all throughout Mozambique. And I have this growing in a very rocky, dry mixture. I have to be very careful because if you see, I have this growing in a coffee mug, which doesn't have a hole in the bottom. Um, and by the way, if you really like this, this is by Little Bear Pots, which I don't think she used to be in Brooklyn, but I don't think she's in Brooklyn any longer. But um, I picked up a bunch of um, pottery from her, including planters, but I really loved the look of these. And because this is an African plant, I really liked the, the look of this pot because it gives a little bit of a, an Africana flair, if you will. So um, what else can I share about this plant? Well, it is susceptible to thrips. I do have to say that. I think for the, the, these kinds of like thin leaves, in fact, you might even see that this could have some leftover thrips pressure. So it gets a little bit of um, a silver on the leaf because the thrips come and they have a scraping mouth part and they actually scrape the chlorophyll from the leaf. So that's probably what you see here, although I haven't had any kind of thrips pressures now that the, the winter months are upon us. And as far as fertilizing goes, you could get away during the growing season with a monthly fertilizer. And I usually stick with succulent fertilizers for my caduciforms. So that's like a 247 or a 347, for example. And um, typically also with caduciforms, I, you may recognize that I've said this a couple times if you're watching my 365 days of plants, but I usually set my caduciforms a little bit lower into the pot because I don't want the highlight going onto the caudex. The light should be hitting a little bit more of the green and not necessarily the caudiciform and kind of drying that out. So you wanna focus the light on the green. So I would say giving this a little bit more of a, a bright indirect kind of high indirect light um, to even full sun up here is going to be fine for this part of the plant, but keeping this a little bit away from that um, intense light is, is going to be good practice. <laughs> 